Please welcome to the stage Australia's favourite crummy mummy, it's Bev Killick! Hello! Thank you, Ben. It's good to be here. Uh, I've just had a baby. About 15 and a half years ago. But I need some excuse for this. It's hard work losing the baby, mate. <laughs> but it gets me a seat on the tram. This is what you do. You arch your back, you put your hand down here like this, and you breathe really heavily. <gasps> oh, tired. <laughs> Get a seat on the tram. <laughs> yep. So I've got the two kids. I've got a little one and a big one, but I'm not one of those yummy mummies. You're those yummy mummies getting around Brighton. I live in Brighton. They can't even pronounce their own suburb. It's Brighton. But you know the ones I mean? Oh, look at me, I'm a yummy mummy. I go to Lord of Jane for my leggings and my jeggings. I don't go to yoga, that's the filthy dirty hippies. I go to Pilates. Everything about me is yummy, even my jogger pram. Look at me, my three-wheeler jogger. <laughs> it costs more than your car. And they don't need any work done, these yummy mummies, because that ponytail's doing it all for them. be one. I want my kids to know me for who I really am. I don't want them to have to get therapy when they're older. Go, Shit, that's my mum. Because I'm a smoke and drink and fart and swearing, sometimes get my tits out of family barbecues. Because I'm a crummy mummy, that's what I am. <laughs> Who's going to join me? Yes. But my best friend, she's not just a yummy mummy, she's a step beyond. Very English, very proper. Her kids go to Steiner, alternate education, and they learn their alphabet through their bodies, like what the... <laughs> and they eat things like kale and quinoa. Yeah, it's not quinoa. I thought it was quinoa too, but it's quinoa. It's very hard to give them gifts because everything has to be handmade out of felt and whatever. It's like, what am I going to give them? I know, here's some organic breath. <laughs> but she's one of these people, she's always, she knows everything, right? She's a real know-all. And she's always given me the self-help books. And one that she gave me, Spiritual Parenting, right? So I read some of it. Now, according to this book, there's all these things that you're supposed to say to your kids now, right? That are really on trend, right? So, for instance, if your kids are being really noisy at home, this is what you do. You lean in on their level with eye contact and a beautiful loving tone. You say, inside voices. Inside voices. <laughs> now, I'm a child of the 70s. I didn't hear stuff like that. I heard stuff like, you kids don't bloody pipe down. I'm going to come in here and give you a bloody horn in a minute, so help me. <laughs> the other thing in this book... You're supposed to give the long answer to everything so your kids are brainy up, right? So, for example, my daughter asked the question, Mummy, why do I need to go to bed? So you're supposed to say stuff like, so that your brain can relax, your neural pathways will open. You'll go into a deep REM sleep and therefore you'll be able to absorb more information at school. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I had the lean in right, I had the beautiful loving tone right, but I had the cranky boots on, it was getting a bit late. So it came out a little bit more like this. The reason you need to go to bed is because there's a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc chilling beautifully in the fridge with my name on it. And a joint from a maid of Marlin Marlin Bimbi. It's mummy's turn to go on the computer because you've been on the whole afternoon playing Moshi, mo mo Moshi Monsters and shit. It's mummy's turn to go on the computer and stalk some bitches on Facebook and Twitter. Right now, Mummy's the angry bird and the big red fat angry bird are going to come crashing into your room, smash up all your toys. It's all going to come crumbling down and I'm going to win 10,000 points. And you're going to sleep, you little mofo! <laughs> inside crying. Inside crying. <laughs> and then there's the teenagers. Oh, who's got teens in the audience? Anyone? Can you just pretend? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, it's so hard to get them to clean up their rooms. It's almost impossible. I mean, what do we need to do? Do we need to have an opera in the hallway outside their bedroom door with a couple of choirs either side? <laughs> clean up your room. 
clean up your room. I want you to clean up your bloody room. She really means it. She really means it. I can smell it from here. Yeah. I reckon. Or you can have a couple of guest starters, you know, that haven't had a go in a while, like Macy Gray. I tried to clean your room and I choke. I tried to wash the sheets and I chunder. Let's clean up your room. Thanks for having me. Bev Killing, ladies and gentlemen. Bev's Melbourne International Comedy Festival show has an exclusive run at the Mantra on Collins from the 20th to 24th. She'll sell out, so book now at alist.com.au. That's at alist.com.au. Once again, my pal Bev Killing. Please welcome Jaron Y and Jeannie Townsend from the Big Hoo Ha Melbourne! Hey! Hey, 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 hey come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come, come, back. Come, come, back. Oh, come on back. We're going to get you part of this as well. You're Hello, in this. everyone. You're doing, doing an act. No, no, no. You're in this. You're a part of this. We're okay, going to be playing okay. a game that we love to play at the Big Hoo Ha where Ben will be our scene partner, but can we only read... Kind of matching. I'm ah. just like, you should be wearing... H&M? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Miss the memo, clearly. Sorry. <laughs> no brands. Uh, we're going to be playing a game with Ben where he can only read uh, or speak in lyrics from one of these songs. Okay. So we get to say whatever we want, but Ben can only speak in song lyrics, and we just have to try and justify what he's saying and okay. make a scene from that. So you're making me real. I've been struggling to read an auto cue for the last <laughs> hour, and you're giving Don't me. Don't worry, it's size Pardon 16 font. font. <laughs> it's I made it nice good. and big. All Which right. Uh, so what am I doing? Pick a song, any song. Lucky dip. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. The middle one. What I, is I it? love being on stage when I'm in control. Not so much when I'm not in control. Um, <laughs> oh God. Call Me Maybe by oh, Carly Rae oh, Jefferson. Oh, yeah. right. So we're going to do a scene with Ben where he can only speak words from Call Me Maybe. But we'll get from the audience here. What is our location anywhere in the world? Tent St. Kilda. Any more? Azerbaijan, we know that place well. All right. <laughs> I guess we'll take it. A Azerbaijan. Yeah. Right. Azerbaijan. Yeah. And what is our period in history? Any kind of history? Renaissance. Renaissance. All right, Love this it. will be the Renaissance in Azerbaijan. <laughs> wow. All right. Try saying that ten times fast. <laughs> so we'll get you to start off stage and we'll prompt you to come on in. You'll yeah. know when. It was, what, what, am then, I, what am I doing? Then you can o you can, you'll converse with us and can only speak those words. So you can jump In around. Of as, as a presenter. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Whatever you want to do, that's culturally <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> How do I do that without getting cancelled and being racist? You All can right, also we'll, we'll just use your voice. Go full, <laughs> yeah. go full Ben. All right. Here we go. The Renaissance in Azerbaijan. <laughs> wow, we. It's beautiful here. Yes, it's quite marvelous, isn't it? Quite a large palace of sorts, isn't it? Well, I hear sometimes the true God lets us go inside and, well, one day we might actually see the king of Azerbaijan. Oh, you don't mean it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my goodness. I threw a wish in the well. Don't ask me. Oh. I will never tell. Oh. I looked to you as it fell, and now you're in my way. Oh, oh. wait, wait. Wait, king. Billy Bob, Billy Please. Bob, is that the king? That's the king of Azerbaijan. I trade my soul for a wish, pennies and dimes. For a kiss. Oh, it oh. is culture here to give a penny to the king for a kiss. I was thinking he maybe wanted something else. Well, uh, I wasn't looking for this, but uh, now you're in my way. Oh, <laughs> perhaps a prince you want. Well, king, could you give us a tour? Yes, uh, your stare was holding, ripped jeans, skin was showing. Oh, sorry, yes, my um... skin is showing? Oh, is that an offence to thee, dear no, king? No, hot night, wind was blown. Oh! oh. oh well, uh, King, tell yeah. us, what should we do to please you? Oh, well, where you think you're going, baby? <laughs> well, oh, it seems the king has chosen you. But I wasn't going anywhere. I was simply standing in place. Hey, hey, I just met you. Yes. And this is crazy, but... Uh, it's is crazy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I've always wanted... Here's my number. <gasps> Call me, maybe. The king. 
You might become the new queen of Azerbaijan. Oh, my word. Well, that's amazing. Oh, my word. What are you, what are you going to say? Oh, King, my. sorry, oh, she's a little it's flustered. It's hard to look at you right now. Oh, I'm sorry, King. Uh, I'll, yes, I'll look but, away. Uh, but, uh, but here's my number, so uh, oh, call me. A second maybe. time. Yes. <laughs> I got two numbers. I got all of the King's numbers. <laughs> what do I say to you? What's the code hey, word? Hey, hey, look, I just met you. Okay. But, uh, call me, maybe. I'm getting a lot of mixed messages uh, here's, uh, here. You know, all the other boys, they try to chase me. I know I've been trying. Is there All another the number boys, for me? Trench, no. Um, oh. um, I got both. But of here's them. my number, so call me maybe. Oh, a throuple. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have many phones, O oh, King of Azerbaijan? I mean, this is, number looks different to yeah, her. Yeah, these numbers so. are all different. <laughs> How many phones do you got? Oh, you took your time with the call. I took no time with the fall. You gave me nothing. Oh. I'll give you everything. But still, you're in my way. Oh. King, I swear, I'll give you I more. I beg and borrow and steal. At first sight, and it's real. I didn't know I would feel this way, but you're in my way. Oh. I'm so confused. Your stare was holding. Yeah. Rip jeans. Skin is showing. Yeah. I think he likes it that. I think he's into that. Well, you think oh. you'll go on, baby? Oh, uh, well, I'd like to go to the palace, King. Yes, can thing? you take us? Yeah. Hey, I, I just met you. Oh. And I know this is uh, a bit crazy. my number, so uh, call me, baby. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> Another phone. Uh, it's hard to look at you, baby. But uh, uh, here's my number. Uh, call me, baby. Well, I think we... Uh, Hey, I just met you. Oh, uh, but here's my number. Court. She's a, she's a marvelous lyric writer. Uh, she's, uh, Is this the king of Azerbaijan or maybe the king of Alzheimer's? Really yeah. yeah. Jason Wyatt and Jenny Townsend <laughs> from the Big Hurt. You can catch them every Friday at the Butterfly Club. One more time for the Big Hurt. Oh, thank you. I'm Ben Murphy the curator of that amazing ASMR you just watched. If you'd like more, hit subscribe below. Yes.